All right. What's up, YouTube? You know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all for tuning in. All, the, all my people, you know what I'm saying? Uh, in this video, real quick, me and my friend Matt, we were literally just chilling in the car, talking about the fight from this Saturday. You know what I'm saying? It was it was this Saturday, right after the fights. We were, we were literally just chilling, you know, out here in California, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, I just pulled out that camera real quick before we hit it. You know what I'm saying? Like a little quick podcast action. Quick little post-fight discussion similar to how DC and RC be doing it, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I've always wanted to do this type of video. We just chopping it up, you know what I'm saying? Giving my quick thoughts. What we talk about? We talk about, you know what I'm saying, the Volkanovski Islam matchup come up in the future. Talk about the main event a little bit. Talk about, you know what I'm saying, what happened with the uh, Peter Yan O'Malley fight, you know what I'm saying? A little bit on the Sterling fight, some future matchups, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, hope y'all enjoy. We just chilling, talking, you know what I'm saying? Having fun, living my best life, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, hope y'all enjoy. Little, little Little, little, little talkity talk action, you know what I'm saying? All right, cool. Okay. Here's what I was gonna tell you. This is what I was gonna tell you. Because, all right, this is what I was gonna tell you. Well, what was that again? We were talking about uh, Islam versus Volk. Oh, yeah, okay. Islam versus Volkanovsky. So, what I was saying was. From my technical breakdown, you know what I'm saying? I was thinking right here. Because it just happened today. Okay. Volkanovski coming up a weight class from 45 to 55. He could have, like, a speed advantage, cardio advantage. You know what I'm saying? It would have to be a cardio advantage. You know what I'm saying? A speed advantage that you would get from being the, you know, lighter fighter, smaller fighter. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. you feel like going, Cause you're going up a weight class. You know what I'm saying? I so you. use, use that, uh, use that cardio, the conditioning. And if he could be so sweaty in the wrestling departments and the jujitsu departments, the grappling, you know what I'm saying? And then like scrambling, scramble out of those of positions. Scrambling. You know what I'm I saying? Like just scramble, scramble, scramble yeah. to get out of these positions and then just be faster yeah. on the stand up. As a, as a, as a, as a, as a, you know what I'm saying? Sure. See, like on this video, you know, sometimes y'all gonna get that philosophical Ricky. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes y'all gonna get that just chilling Ricky. You know what I'm saying? I think I was just chilling on this video, you know. But as if I gave a couple more details on my technical breakdown, and what I was trying to say was, if Volkanovski, he's coming up from featherweight, maybe be him being the lighter fighter, that'll give him the speed advantage against Islam Makachev, being able to move in and out, faster on these stand-up exchanges to win these stand-up exchanges and then shoot if he's got to neutralize the grappling because you know islam is so strong you know what i'm saying he's gonna have to be so sweaty and if they get to the ground got to scramble out of any single situation use that jujitsu and that wrestling to move from any bad situations because we all know if islam gets to any type of dominant position and sinks in any type of like you know pinning combination or any type of submission hold it's dangerous. It's done. You know what I'm saying? So you got to keep moving on the ground and everything that move on the feet, be faster, be quicker. You know what I'm saying? Just keep moving. Man, that's what I was thinking. Well, that's his path to victory. This the is what striking, he has to do you know to win. And then, you know, be very clean in the striking. I think this. If, if, but what were you? What was that you were saying? Oh, yeah. Though? I was, what were I was you saying? Say, though, I was at the same topic. What were you about to? Because I thought you were yes. just, No worries. <laughs> See? Like right here on this part right here, I had to tell that boy Matt right there and check real quick because before I started filming that video, Matt was over here in the car all talking about Islam Makachev this, Islam Makachev that, Islam going be the freaking whatever he gonna he gonna destroy anybody that he faces. You know, I was like, bro, hold up, wait, what were you saying about Islam? You know what I'm saying? Earlier about uh, before we got here. So I think uh, this is what I think if those two like the task. For him, here's the thing, just the way they match up, everything that he has to do or every advantage that he has, it's at a margin. It's not necessarily like speed advantage is a smaller faster, yes, but it's not gonna be like it's not a significant advantage in my opinion in terms of like like that amount. I think what he had we would have to do though, like the problems that Islam presents for Volk is, you know, he's gonna put you on your back. You want you basically there's you know two you yeah two options either, you know make it you know that he that you can't you know can't take you down, right with good wrestling either you do that or make him not want to be in certain positions with you on the ground right like in your guard, but that's not necessarily Volk's game necessarily to play that back game. 
So, you know, it's like, I mean, it's the scrambling will be, you know, important, but I think it's just stylistically, this is a fight that already kind of favors Islam. Um, but this, the size advantage, I think, will, it gives Islam is strong. Now, I mean, obviously, I've never like held the dude, but. <laughs> You never wrestled Islam before? <laughs> nah, I never, I never, I never wrestled him yet. Okay, okay, no. But, uh, yeah, no, no but that choke was that choke was hella yeah. tight, bro. I think, that but if Volk does it, crazy, if Volk can beat Islam, he is the greatest mixed martial artist of all time. Cause think about it. Cause now Charles yeah. was on the campaign for best lightweight. Dang, you know, that was crazy. He was on that campaign, but you know Islam. Now it's on an eleven fight win streak, and Islam really has a lot of options. Cause he. But beats, they know the Volkanovski fight is next. They said it. Today. He, they said Volk, they're going to yes. Australia and they're yes. doing for sure. the freaking for sure. fight. For sure. next. But, but yeah, you know, hold up, before because I know I've been saying a lot about about Volkanovski, you know what I'm saying? But if I say one more thing on the main event, you know, for sure, though, hats off to Islam, all respect, you know what I'm saying? Because Islam Makachev, he really done proved he is the true champion, the true king at lightweight. Man, I, you know, I was going for Oliveira, you know what I'm saying? But man, the way he he won that fight, hitting him with the, with the big punch into the arm triangle, I mean, man. This dude, he's a monster, you know what I'm saying? We know the grappling is on point. He showed some, the stand-up, too, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, he's a real champion, you know what I'm saying? So I think he, I think, honestly, I'll bet on Islam against anybody at lightweight, truthfully, you know what I'm saying? But when they do that super fight, though, y'all already know who I'm going for, you know what I'm saying? Let's go, that boy Volkanovski. But so on this, though, uh, but I think what I mean is he has a lot of runway because there are a lot of people that he can fight at 55 and extend a, a win streak, right? Yeah. He's at eleven yeah. right now. Yeah, he can fight. But, but you know though, but sure. you know, yeah. But you know though, it's gonna be Volkanovski. It's gonna be Volk next. So, it's so gonna be that's Volk the next. fight, bro. That's if he gets past be... Volk, then you know he got Benil Darius, who looks yeah, that was good. That was... And like he knew, don't even be talking about Benil Darius yet right now. Which yeah, he's a beast. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, Benil Benil Darius is a beast. You know what I'm saying? But right now we know what they doing next is gonna be that Volkanovski fight. You know what I'm saying? And like bro, gotta put some respect on my boy Volkanovski's name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was good today. I, That's good. But hold on, yeah. hold on. <laughs> yeah. But so, sorry, cool. I don't no. I don't mean to no, 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 overlook no, no, both. No 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 no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. no but but that like, was badass yeah. too though, man. That left so, hand was nice. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, but. They're gonna do yeah. the huge. They're gonna do this huge fight though, in Australia, Australia, going in February, oh. twenty twenty three. That's gonna be. That's gonna be lit, dude. Yeah, that's gonna be a great fight. That's gonna that, be. I wonder who. I wonder when that card happens. That's yeah. But yeah, that's the last thing I'm saying on now. And you know what I'm saying when that fight does happen, if Volkanovski can get past Islam Makachev, he'll cement himself for. As the pound for pound, pound for pound, pound for pound. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's going to be like that, you know? Damn. I mean, man, hey, but hats off to Islam, you know? He showed he's on another level tonight. Um, and, yeah, he has a... The next guy he's fighting, obviously, is still top test. You know, Alexander Volskanovsky, who's beating everybody there is at 45. That's going to um, be so crazy, dude. I mean, I'm literally so... Got some guys I'm like, my heart, I'm just dude, like... I'm, I'm like, dude, it's like, yeah. I'm so excited. That was crazy today, dude. That was so nuts, bro. Man. That was so crazy. That was so crazy. Like, that was, my mind is blown. Yeah, dude. no, he was, that was, that was, that was badass it was, to see, dude. And it was, you know, it was perfect performance. You know, he won the first round soundly. And the second round, he catches him. And kind of, he does, he does what Charles Oliveira do, has done his last uh, two fights is catch him with the hands and finish him with a submission. No, yeah, that arm, that arm yeah. triangle, that arm triangle was so was so tight, bro. Yeah, that was like, yeah, this that this this, you know, this that's literally that that quick fight discussion like that literally in the car parking lot right so, here how we really filmed this like that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's how we literally just run it like this, dude. Yeah. The post fight, the post fight. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know the elephant in the room. Oh, oh my God! God. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, 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 I'm not yeah, mad yeah, at yeah, Sean yeah. O'Malley at all. He, you know, did what he needed to do, but man, he just like let's be honest, that was a robbery. And I've I've watched a lot of fights in my life, <laughs> a lot of UFC cards, and 
I've seen a lot of bad decisions, but that one, that one, I will describe that as egregious. So yeah, so right here, this part right now, the homie Matt, he had to bring out the the word egregious, man. He was he was saying that was egregious the decision, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, in my opinion, yeah, it was a. I, I had Peter Yan winning the fight, you know what I'm saying? Real talk, when it was all said and done, you know what I mean? Because uh, you know he had he had the grappling exchanges, et cetera, et cetera. The strike counts were probably even, but he had the cage control, and then he had he had the he had the extra grappling, you know what I'm saying? For real. So when the when they were going to the cards, I thought it was a pretty clear cut for Peter Yan, you know what I'm saying? But hey, hey, you'll never know with them judges sometimes, for real. This this a this a real statement. Like, let's be honest. I they're not showing the strikes. I mean, the first round, Peter Yan with the grappling, you know, as well as landing good counter shots. The second round, like, uh, the second round wasn't even, okay. Albeit Sean O'Malley did catch him and started landing some good combinations. Piotr Jan dropped him and then was had top control most of the time. Third round, I give, you know, Sean O'Malley, I think, won the third round. Oh, my goodness. That, you know, was very, you know, <laughs> but I get it, too. Like, I, I hate well, him. You, he did you, what he had to do, right? And he showed that he can compete up there with the absolute best of the best. I think Piotr Jan, Piotr Jan is a dude that arguably is the champion, that's right? That's how you feel? That's how you feel? There, I mean, in feel, some bro. people's books, he's, he's his feel, last couple of fights have been these these close decisions. Um, and it's all at the top of the best guys. And, you know, Sean's out there. You know, my respect to him, he did what he had to do. Yeah, but like, you know, the homie man, he was telling the things, you know, I didn't get to talk, I wasn't talking too much that night. I remember I was just so shocked after the fights, you know. We were out there in California, under the moon, the the night the night sky of the moon, you know what I'm saying? I was just feeling, I was just chilling, you know what I'm saying? Just smooth chilling on this California night, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it was cool, we just having the discussion, but you know, that's why I added in a little bit of the extra commentary right now, because I know I didn't do too much uh, talking on that video, you know what I'm saying, on the podcast, on the post-fight, post-mortem, et cetera, et cetera, but man, you know, it is what it is. It was a good fight, you know what I'm saying? O'Malley showed he could hang with the best of them, you know what I'm saying? But hey, sometimes them judges are gonna give it to you, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I still, I, I still, in my opinion, I still had the fight for Peter Yan because, uh, you know, he had those extra wrestling exchanges. It's MMA. What's up? Y'all ain't, y'all ain't giving points for these wrestling, wrestling, wrestling takedowns, you know what I'm saying? He was landing strikes on the floor too, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I didn't really say that much on the video. Like I said, I was just chilling under the, under the night sky like that, you know what I'm saying? But still, then, you know, whatever. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, I just gotta be honest about it. Like, I feel like if I, like, yeah, just, that was very, and I get it though. It, it, cause, uh, <laughs> but I like, oh, you're like thinking now, like, oh yeah. Oh, so that's how the homie feel, huh? That's how you feel, huh, Matt? For real. I see you, bro. You go, he over here. He over here. He, he over here. He feeling it. He feeling some type of way. Two, there's also like a storyline behind it, right? Is it's the best thing for the UFC because of the fact that if you have Purion fighting again, it's Purion versus Aljamain Sterling three. The you know the first two in sell great. But Sean O'Malley is a huge sell. Normal people that aren't really, you know, MMA geeks like us. They're oh, we some MMA geeks. Yeah, huh? we some geeks. We <laughs> they're, some they're geeks. Not, with the, norm, the you know, but like the normies, they're 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 gonna be all in. Uh, you know, they they know his name, so like can't uh, can't hate on it. You know, gotta give him his respect. But at the same time, like you know, I think Piorian won that fight. But for sure, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> hey, <laughs> it's going oh, down like that. Man. All right, yeah, that's a bet. But uh, oh yeah, you didn't even. Oh, you didn't, you didn't talk about that one, yeah, yeah, right? Man, yeah, yeah, that, that. that was crazy. Oh yeah, man, that, oh, was man. Crazy. that was crazy. That was nasty, <laughs> that was crazy. Damn, that was that brutal. Damn, that was up. brutal. That's crazy. So they're gonna do Aljamain Sterling versus Sehudo next, I think. I think that's the next one they're gonna do. Yeah. Henry Sehudo, that's the one. Henry Sehudo versus like Aljamain sure. Sterling. I think that's the fight that they're gonna do. That's the one, dude. 
Yeah, so right here on this part right here, yeah, I'm, I'm giving just my humble opinion, humble humble predictions, you know what I'm saying? But I think that, you know, like, just because of how the way that the 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 last Bantamweight fight went, you know what I'm saying? For the next one, it's like, bro, you know what? Y'all should do the money fight. Go ahead and run that Aljamain Sterling versus Henry Cejudo, the Olympian, the gold medalist, you know what I'm saying? Former double champion, you know what I'm saying? Aljamain Sterling versus Henry Cejudo. I think that's going to be the big fight to make, you know what I'm saying? Just in my humble opinion, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we talk about it for a little bit right here. Let's run the clip. That's it. Yeah. What about, that's it. What about Aljo and, and Sean? Yeah, for sure, for sure. But... And, and I did. think I think they're gonna yeah I, that's that that one's that one's that one's coming up next, but but they, I think they're gonna do the also, Sekudo one first. He kind of got the golden ticket. He got the one. He bro. should. It's, it should be, they're gonna do the Sekudo yeah. fight first. I, I think. get not letting him fight at forty five, but he should. You know, let's go ahead and run that. Him. Run yeah, that action. Because yeah, yeah, even Dana White on the press conference said that he said they were, they're gonna do Henry Sekudo, but you know whatever. Sure. They, we'll they, see they, what happens. We gonna, do, we gonna see what happens. You know what yeah, but like that's what. Henry Cejudo, you can't doubt that guy. <laughs> Man, I swear. <laughs> Man, your boy, I must have been, I must have been hella sleepy after them fights or something like that out there in California. I swear, man. Good times, good times for sure. Good times. As much as the antics, like watching that Marlon Marais fight and just the the punishment he went through. Well, eating those kicks and man, Marlon was on it. Like people right now, obviously Marlon is fighting the PFL, had a string of uh, unsuccessful fights, but he was, you know, before that, he was kind of a boogeyman. He, was, he starts all of Sterling, cold, knock, knock, cold, uh, was on a, a roll, lost a lot of finishes and was looking like he was, he was getting set up to be the champion. And then Harry Cejudo though showed this you know i think really for henry sudo worked i think what changed uh at least for in my humble opinion oh, yeah. you, my you, humble you, opinion you, is you think, you uh, think, you know? after he fought uh 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 benavidez after he fought uh joseph benavidez uh he started incorporating more of kind of like a Karate stance top style. Oh, okay. So and it has really good success for him in his in his stand up. And so obviously his wrestling is, you know, yes, that that gold medal. So that what you're saying is that you like karate about. is what you're saying? I, well I think I think it works well for him. And I think especially like with the fact that even if he, yeah, it so works think, well for him. You yeah. think he he won it because of his karate? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, like I said, uh, you know, in this clip, man, I was just clowning. I was just messing around with my friend Matt, you know what I'm saying? Just because he was talking about that karate whenever Henry Cejudo, he the Olympic gold medalist in wrestling, you know what I'm saying? But I can see what he's trying to say, though. Like, you know what I mean? Putting it down with, uh, he had made he had made big jumps in his stand-up, doing different things later in his career. He was getting more knockouts, you know what I'm saying, in, the, in those situations and it's with, with this karate. You know what I'm saying? The Olympic gold medalist in wrestling. Hit him with that karate. All right. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I'm just playing, dude. I I totally that's can't. a good question. That's a good question, though. I'm playing. That's, I'm playing. That's, I'm playing, dude. That's a, that's a, I mean, like, no, 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 that's I a just, good fight. Him, Aljo, and <laughs> Henry Cejudo, because I think. Man, I swear. <laughs> we were just chilling, having a good time under that California moonlight. You know what I'm saying? For real. It was a. Hey, Good times, man. Smooth chilling, smooth chilling. I think, you know, as much as Ultimate Sterling's grappling is high level, he's fighting, you know, again. <laughs> it's Triple C. Yeah, they're going to do, they're going to do, <laughs> they're going to do Henry Say Udo. Yeah. Versus Sterling next, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be, a, I think that should be the one, in my opinion. I think that's going to be the one. They're going to run that action. Let's go. Big yes, fights on the horizon, you know what I'm saying? Dang, yeah, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, so, and we're gonna peep down. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see. We're gonna see when the time comes. There's also one but if, more when that time comes, and if we make a prediction, if I'm gonna make a prediction right now, if I'm gonna do, if, I, if they, if we do Aljamain Sterling versus Henry Cejudo as the next fight at bantamweight, what's my pick right here? I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess right now. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick. My pick is gonna be right now Henry Cejudo. Henry Cejudo. I yeah, think. I think so. I think that's, a, that's a sound pick. The only thing is, he's not. He hasn't been well, competing sir. in how long, right? Yeah. So he's also probably a lot fresher. He's not. He hasn't been getting his head banged in, doing training camps, doing his hard sparring, 
you know, in preparation for his camps and then fighting. He's been taking it a lot easier. Albeit, yeah, he's been eating whatever he wants. Yeah, just my opinion on that one too. You know what I'm saying? I didn't talk too much about it on that on the on the, on that little on that little portion. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, you know, my pick, Henry Cejudo. Why? Okay, honestly, just because he's the Olympian, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like he's been competing since the beginning. You know what I'm saying? At the highest level, can't doubt him. You know what I'm saying? The Olympic gold medalist. You know what I'm saying? Um, come with that hard grappling. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they gonna grapple Sterling and then. And then Henry Cejudo, they gonna grapple. You know what I'm saying? I think that maybe that Cejudo probably could neutralize the grappling, even it out or even out grapple Sterling. This is just my humble opinion. I'm just talking. I'm just talking on this camera on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? For I'm just just making some predictions. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it humble. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah. So they could probably you know even that out on the feet or even it out on the grappling exchanges. Then they gonna have to sell it on the on the stand up. You know what I'm saying? And Henry Cejudo says he always come in there to knock them out. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. That's probably why I picked picked them right now. I could see him winning that fight against. Uh, it's a good matchup against Osman Sterling because Osman Sterling, he's you know overall good everywhere, but it's really his grappling where it's his strong suit. And I think Henry is all, is the guy that gives him the most problems there. All right, and then they settle it on the feet. Mm -hmm. Henry Cejudo versus Osman Sterling. They and I think if the they feet. settle it on the feet. There's a good chance Henry Cejudo might win that fight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bet. So that's going down. That's going down next year, you know what I'm saying? I wonder what happens for TJ next. I mean... Shit, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That was but, disgusting. Uh, and then saying that it popped out, what, 16 times? Yeah, Maybe that's, you know, look. That was crazy. But um, what was yeah. I going to say? That's like... You know, he gonna need some surgery or something, I don't know. But yeah, that fight's happening next year. But you know what's happening this year, though? Oh, I know what you have to say. You know what's happening this year, November, though? You know what I'm saying? November 19th. 19th. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's going bonus. down. Catch your boy in the UFC live on ESPN. The dream. Tune in. That's right. That's right. Yeah, for real. It is a dream. It is a dream come true. You know what I'm saying? deep in my heart i remember them days i was just looking up at the stars praying for this moment praying for this opportunity praying for my chance to compete under them lights to fight to feel the victory under them ufc lights you know what i'm saying it's real it's real now you know what i'm saying and i'm grateful i just say hey gracias a dios you know what i'm saying but shout out to all my friends and family you know what i'm saying shout out to gracie ball the woodlands team alpha male shout out to all the fans i appreciate y'all you know what i'm saying hey primero adios i'm gonna go in there and get that victory come november 19th you know what i'm saying inshallah let's go i'm gonna get this uh are you gonna run this yeah, action real quick, quick. Yeah. 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 Yeah.